time for that little goose, little goose. Many mothers know to watch what they say around children because kids will often repeat what they hear. If you don't sleep soon, the sun will be up. Now, new findings suggest a mother's voice is also very influential in inspiring learning in the womb. And where are you feeling your baby kicking you the most? A study from the University of Florida shows babies in utero can learn a nursery rhyme by hearing their mom's voice and remember it weeks after the mother has stopped speaking the rhyme out loud. In jumping and tumbling, we spend the whole day. UF researchers studied women beginning their third trimester, or 28th week of pregnancy, and asked them to repeat out loud a nursery rhyme twice a day for six weeks. A female stranger's voice recording the same nursery rhyme was played for the fetus beginning in the 28th week through the 38th week gestational age. Using a fetal heart rate monitor to track changes in heart rate, a small deceleration in heart rate was used to indicate the fetus learned or recognized the rhyme even though a stranger read it. By 34 weeks gestational age, the fetus begins to respond with that small heart rate deceleration and by 38 weeks gestational age, they clearly show a sustained response to the stranger recording of the nursery rhyme. This is the first study to show how a fetus is capable of responding to a stimulus that isn't mom's voice, but is similar in rhythm to what the mother has been repeating out loud. It's time for bed, little sheep, little sheep. This finding may help researchers understand how ongoing development affects learning and memory. What we've shown is just how sophisticated that interaction is between mom speaking and the fetus listening in response to it. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Billich.